How y'all doing? I'm Ryan Watson Davis, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about microaggressions. So, raise your hand if you even know what a microaggression is. If you don't, you're ignorant. But no offense. Let me explain. If you don't know any information that was never given to you, you're ignorant. That's okay. You can be ignorant. Now, when you get information and now you reject it, now you're stupid. <laughs> so, today I'm going to absolve your ignorance of microaggressions. Microaggressions are a one-sided behavior or statement that may seem harmless but really discriminates against a marginalized group. For example, um, somebody may say, hey, you're pretty for a black girl. Not to boost myself, but I'm, I think I'm pretty regardless. Like, I don't have to be a certain race in order to be pretty. I can just be pretty. Or if someone says, oh, you're doing that? That's so gay. That discriminates against the LGBT, LGBTQIA community. That may, or may, that definitely may hurt their feelings. So, in order to stop those, you just need to criticize, you need to evaluate, and you need to acknowledge. Criticize what the microaggression was really intended to mean. Was it intended to hurt your feelings? Was it said out of ignorance? You never know. Not until you ask. That's why you also need to evaluate. Your microaggression might hurt someone else. So if someone does say that, hey, this hurt my feelings, evaluate that your feelings are hurt, that you did, my, you did hurt someone's feelings. So also acknowledge. Acknowledge that I hurt someone's feelings. If someone tells you that they got their feelings hurt by something what, of what you said, their feelings are valid. Don't get defensive. Don't get angry. Just acknowledge that you hurt someone's feelings. And then say, I'm sorry. Let me try that again. I'm just curious about A, B, C, and D. And then I'll tell you about D, E, F. Simple. So another thing that is very important about microaggressions, uh, microaggressions would be the bystander effect. Does anyone know the bystander effect? If you're familiar, shoot your hand up right quick. Okay, well, just in case you're ignorant, the bystander effect is when you observe things going on, but you don't actively participate. For example, if someone said, you might be a little cuter if you lost a little weight. Now, if you hear it and you just stand in there and you just looking at them, you're a bystander now, I'm sorry to say. You are a bystander. But a strong link in the chain of diversity is allies. If you hear something that is out of pocket or that might hurt someone else's feelings, speak up, say some. I know it's scary, I really do know. But imagine how scared the person is who is receiving the microaggression. Imagine how they're feeling. What are they supposed to say? What are they supposed to do? If it was said out of ignorance, do they know that it was offensive? If it was said with ill intention, how will you know? Ask, stand up for each other. We all we got. So we really just need to work together, get rid of these microaggressions. If you do have a true question, just ask rather than trying to give a backhanded compliment or accidentally hurting someone else's feelings. But if you do, three things, just criticize, evaluate, and acknowledge. And we'll all be unified, no matter how diverse we are. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs>